Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're enjoying the winter season so far and the festive mood is coming your way. Today I want to share with you a beading tutorial and we will be making this pretty Christmas tree pendant. I am using Miyuki Delica's beads size 10 in three different colors and their fire line thread. This pendant will be done in brick technique, so if you are already familiar with it, it's great. Otherwise, follow the steps in the video and like always, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. You can access the free PDF pattern under the link in the description below. I start by cutting a piece of fire line around 70 cm long. I leave a 10 cm tail and tie a stopper bead. Next I will make the first two base rows. I pick three cream beads and bring them all the way down to the stopper bead. I then put my needle through the first bead. You should get a triangle-like shape where all beads are rotated horizontally. You might need to do some adjusting here. I hold it so that I have two beads in the lower row and one in the top row. I then pick one more bead and put my needle through the lower right bead. Next I pick another bead and this time thread through the upper bead on the right side. With this zigzag movement, I continue beading until I have 7 beads in the lower row and 6 beads in the upper row. Starting from now, I will bead one row at a time. Instead of going through beads, I will thread my needle through loops in between beads of the previous row. And since according to my design the next row is shorter than the previous, I will do a so-called decrease. I pick two beads and put my needle through a space between second and third beads of the previous row. I now have two beads on my thread and I return the needle up through the left one. To align beads properly, I will now go down through the right bead on the thread. 
and lastly go up through the left bead again. If you pull the thread tight, the beads will snap in the right place. Next, I will thread one bead at a time using the same technique until the end of the row. The next row needs to be longer than the previous, therefore I need to do an increase. I pick two beads and this time put my needle through the space between first and second bead of the previous row. I then return my needle through the bead on the right. As you can see, they snap perfectly right away, so no other steps are needed. I continue adding beads until I run out of loops. Now I am missing one bead in this row, but I don't have spaces to thread through anymore. Therefore, I pick a bead and put my needle down through the last bead of the previous row. I return up through its neighbor. But I still need to go up one level and I do it through the third bead. Next I go down through the second bead. And up again through the first bead. Now that I am back to the starting position I can continue with the next row. Next row is a decrease and from here you can follow the design and apply increase or decrease to each of the rows until one row before the top.
To finish off, I rotate my last bee. This will help me to attach a ring later on. I go down through the beads of the previous rows and back up again to secure it one more time. I then make my way down to the bottom, where I will attach my tree trunk. The bottom row consists of 7 beads, so the golden bead is its middle. I thread through the bead on the side of the middle. Then I pick a black bead and skipping the middle golden bead, I return through its neighbor. I then make a little circle through beads of the previous rows and return to where I started. This time I go through the black bead, pick another black bead on my thread Return through the first black bead from the other side and back through the bead of the base row. What is left now is to secure the thread. You can do it however you like and as many times as you want.
After you are done, cut off the thread and do the same with the other tail. That's it! This pendant can be a necklace, earrings or a keyring accessory, whatever you like. Thank you for watching this video! I hope it was helpful and you learned something new! As this is the last video of this year, I wish you wonderful winter holidays and I'm looking forward to welcoming you on my channel again in 2022. Stay safe and take care!